Washington, where the president and Democrats in Congress are responding to the mass shootings this weekend in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio. The president calling it domestic terrorism. ABC's Tara Palmieri has the latest. President Trump finally condemning the attack in El Paso, targeting Mexican Americans as white nationalism. Our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. After a weekend of golfing in New Jersey, the president speaking out after two mass shootings this weekend in Texas and Ohio left at least 30 dead and dozens more injured. We have asked the FBI to identify all further resources they need to investigate and disrupt hate crimes and domestic terrorism. Announcing a six-point plan involving social media companies and government authorities to develop tools to, quote, detect mass shooters before they strike. The perils of the Internet and social media cannot be ignored. Suggesting that they will fast-track the death penalty for mass shooters and those who commit hate crimes. Now Democrats are demanding that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell order the Senate to return from summer recess and vote on a universal background check bill passed by the House in February. That Majority Leader McConnell should once and for all do the right thing, gavel the Senate into an emergency session. But in the past, the president threatened to veto two background check bills. And as one Democrat told CNN, they're irate that the president would suggest packaging an immigration reform bill with gun reform legislation. That's an absolute freaking joke that he's going to tie this to the most polarizing issue happening in the United States today around immigration reform. According to the FBI, the number of shootings has increased from six per year in the early 2000s, jumping to 30 in 2017. That's the last year on record. Tara Palmieri, ABC News, Washington.